about the chapter of biology, digestion and absorption. So first of all, we are going to talk about what is digestion. Digestion is a process in which complex food material is changed into simple food material. Now you must be thinking about what all things digestive system contains of. So the digestive system contains of two major parts named elementary canal and associated glands. Now our elementary canal starts from mouth and ends to anus. And secondly, our associated glands which contains of salivary gland liver, pancreas and spinture of odoi. About these things we will study later. Now what the, now we will study about parts of elementary canal. So the first and foremost part is mouth. Mouth contain of a thecodont which is a jaw like structure in which our teeth are embedded. And secondly it's and second is diphodont which contains of temporary teeth and permanent teeth. Okay, they are incisor, canine, premolar and molar. The dental formula, the dental formula is 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 into 2. There are 2 in incisor, 2 in, 1 in canine, 2 in premolar and molar 3. So further we see we have taste buds and tongue. The taste buds are present on the upper surface of the tongue known as papillae and the second thing it is attached to an oral cavity. The tongue is attached to an oral cavity known as frenulum. The tongue helps in mastication of food and turning it into bolus then it is slipped through our esophagus. We will see further the second part of our elementary canal is pharynx. Now pharynx is a thing which divides esophagus and trachea. And it is also covered like a flap like cartilage structure known as epiglottis. It is a common passage for food and air. The process of epiglottis is to block the entry of food parti particles in windpipe or trachea. Third is our esophagus. Esophagus is also known as food pipe which takes bolus from our mouth to our stomach. So, it is a long tube which opens into stomach regulated by muscular spinger. The fourth part we come is stomach. The stomach is located in the upper left portion of elementary canal near diaphragm. The stomach is a J-shaped bag divided into four parts as you can see cardiac, fundic, body and pyloric. The esophagus comes and ends in stomach which comes with bolus. Now what is the what are the function? The function of cardiac is to it's also located near heart and the esophagus opens here. Second is fundic which is mainly filled with air and gas. The third is the third is body. Body is a central region where the villi and gastric juices digest the bolus. Fourth is pyloric which opens into the small intestines with the help of superior portion of duodenum of small intestine. Now fifth is small intestine. Small intestine is known as the largest part of our elementary canal. It consists of three parts known as duodenum, jelum and ileum. The duodenum is where the st is stomach ends. Jejulum is the middle part of the small intestine where mostly the food is absorbed and third is ileum. Now we are going to talk about the glands that are present in small intestine. So the glands are Berner's gland, Preyer's gland and crypts of liver cone. Berner's gland is a mucus secreting gland. It helps the bolus kind to come forward. Preyer's gland is also known as lymphocyte producing gland and it destroys the bacteria that are present in our chyme. The third is crypt of liver cone. It secretes intestinal juice to absorb minerals and nutrients from the food. Our sixth part is large intestine. It also consists of the three parts like small intestine. First is cecum, second is colon and third is rectum. The cecum is a blind sac, sac like structure and thwarts the microbes. Second is colon. It consists of the four parts ascending colon, descending colon, transverse colon and sigmoid colon. The third is rectum, rectum which opens into anus and here ends our elementary canal. Now from digestive glands we will see in our next video. Please like and subscribe our channel.